This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today with Associate Field Agronomist Missy Bauer. And Missy, uh, you're talking today about soil density management. Uh, what would you want to share with farmers this afternoon? Well, Rhonda, what we have here is an example of a soil pit where we ran two different tillage systems and are seeing some pretty big differences in soil density and root growth underground. So if we take a look at these uh, root systems that we have here, on this side of our tillage pit, we had ran what we'd call a hybrid chisel, 12 inches deep, had a lot of really good shatter in between the shanks, about 10 inches of shatter in between those shanks. We then leveled this up with a vertical tillage harrow type of a tool. What that's allowed is to have pretty uniform density as far as root growth. So you can see here we got really great root growth coming down real nicely through this soil profile. We've got a lot of nice roots. Here's a part of a third set of crown root down in here into this subsoil and another one here. So we got really good rooting depth here, as well as we can see on this part as well, or this other example right here. So when we have this good rooting depth, it allows us to be able to move water better. So now when I get into July and August and it's hot and dry, I have the ability of pulling more moisture up from down here deep into this profile up into the plant to be able to help feed this plant. So I get better root growth, where I've got uniform soil density, I can pull more water up as I get late into July and August. You can take a look at this root here. This is a root ball that I dug out of this treatment. And you can see that these roots are growing down very nicely at that 35 to 40 degree angle, okay? Just like what we're after. So we wanna see that the crown roots, first, second, third set of crown roots are going down like this. If we slide over to the other side of this pit, and I'm running into a firm layer. This is what we'd call a soil density layer. So I got loose soil here, and then I'm very firm. This layer is about three inches down, okay? This was actually caused by a disc. So what we had did here is in the fall, ran a disc in here on corn stalks, and then ran a disc one more time in the spring to try to get it into better condition to actually be able to plant it to it and have a good seed bed. And what's that disc layer is done, created this horizontal tillage layer in here and it's trapping roots up into the surface. You can see this root here falling right along this actual disc layer. We've got a lot of roots but they're only in this top three maybe four inches of soil. So we've re really limited the depth of rooting. When you see we get down in here we don't have very many roots down deeper into this profile at all. So when we can have a lot of soil moisture down here we don't have any roots to help pull this up. So we're going to get ourselves into trouble here and run out of water sooner. If we take a look at the root ball that came out of here and say, I'm going to take a look at my first, first three sets of crown roots, we can see that these roots have come here and really turned and went sideways. Okay? So instead of now farming on maybe 10, 11 inches of good surface soils here, I'm farming on about 3 inches of soil. So if I don't keep getting a lot of rain, in July and August, I'm really going to run into trouble here where these roots are turned, going out sideways, have no ability to help pull up water from down below. 